I'm Dominus Brown on the Chesapeake Bay. Female blue crabs, they're back in the news, but the numbers aren't looking so good. If you want to catch blue crabs, then the Chesapeake Bay is the place to go. But a recent report from the Chesapeake Bay program says the number of spawning age female blue crabs has fallen big time. Apparently what we've done in the past and what we're doing currently is not been effective enough. Pete Nixon says this past season was one of the worst he's ever had while crabbing. We talk about it all the time and nobody's doing well. Uh, some people are getting by all right, uh, but nobody's doing well. According to the report, the number of spawning age female blue crabs fell from 147 million in 2013 to 68.5 million last year. Why is that so important? Because female crabs reproduce new crabs to help sustain the populations over time. But without a healthy number of those crabs, it starts to affect the wallet, not only for crabbers, but for the consumer too. The cost of boats, the cost of pots, the cost of everything continues to escalate and your catch is going down and the only way you can compensate for that is hopefully get a little more money for your product. Nixon says the problem isn't only with female blue crabs, but also with male crabs. We have very low numbers of male crabs. I think the male crabs are in worse shape than the females. Male or female, the report says poor water quality, habitat loss, natural predators, and overharvesting can affect the numbers. And until they cut effort way back somehow, you're not going to see a rebound, an appreciable rebound in enough adult crabs to repopulate. Nixon hopes those numbers improve, not just for him, but for all those who have to make a living by crapping. Reporting along the Chesapeake Bay, Dominus Brown, WGNT News.